Here is the solution for 10 plus 2 physics question paper held by Diana Board in 2018. So keep on watching. Here is the set A, and here this is the first question. This first question is of 12 parts. This is the first part of this question, and first part of the question says that. The charge on an electron is, it is the simplest question I think, the charge on an electron is minus 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 coulomb. There is no technical difficulties in this question, so this is the easiest one, so this is the right option for this. So the for first question, D is the right option, so D is the right option for first question. Now moving towards the second question, second question says that when the distance between the two charge particle is doubled the force between them becomes. So, as we know that force F, electrostatic force between the two charged particles is inversely proportional to square of the distance between them and here it is said that the distance between them is doubled. So, at the place of R, we are using 2R. So, in that case, if I say new force is F dash, that will be 1 by, that is doubled, that is 2R whole square. So, it will becomes, this implies that F dash that is proportional to 1 by 4 R square and that is 1 by 4 of its initial value. So, 1 by 4 that is 1 4 A. A is the right option for this. So, for second question, A is the right option. Now, moving towards the third part. Third part says that with increase in temperature, the resistivity of a conductor increases decreases may increase or decrease does not change we know that resistivity of a conductor that is rho that is equal to m divided by n e square divided by tau where tau is the relaxation time here it is clear that tau is inversely proportional to rho so as temperature will increase relaxation time will decrease and relaxation time will decrease, resistivity will increase. Since relaxation time is inversely proportional to temperature, so we can simply say that rho becomes directly proportional to temperature. As temperature will increase, resistivity will increase. As temperature will decrease, resistivity will decrease. So here temperature increases, so resistivity will also increase. So resistivity will increase, so A is the right option for this. So, A is the right option for third part. Now, moving towards the fourth part. Fourth part says that how much current is flowing through a 1 kilo ohm resistor when a potential difference of 2 volt is applied across its end. We know that the formula V is equal to IR. This is the ohm's law and from here we can find the value of current that is I is equal to V upon R. Here it is given that V, V is 2 volt. So, simply writing the 2 volt and resistance is 1 kilo ohm. 1 kilo, kilo means 10 raised to the power 3 ohm and in this way we get 2 milli ampere. So, 2 milli ampere is the current flowing through this. So, 2 milli ampere is there. Yes, this is the option. So, for fourth part of question number 1, B is the right option. Here, B is the right option. Now, moving towards the next part. Next part, fifth, that is, it says that an AC source is connected to a resistor. The phase difference between applied voltage and the current flowing through it is. The phase difference between voltage and current in case of resistor. We know that resistor is simply a passive device. It does not, does not give any kind of phase difference to the voltage or current. So, phase difference remains 0 in this case. So, 0 is here A. So, A is the right option for fifth question. So, A is the right option. Now, moving towards the next part that is sixth. It says that the voltage across the end of a resistor is V is equal to V naught sin omega t. The RMS value of this voltage is the V knows that RMS value of voltage or current is simply the voltage peak voltage V naught divided by under root 2. So, it is here. So, C is the right option for question number 6. 
sixth part of question number one. Now moving towards the next part. The next part seven. It says that what is the value of speed of gamma rays in vacuum? We know that gamma rays are also electromagnetic waves, and these waves travels with the velocity of light. So it is the right option because velocity of light c. So b is the right option. So for seventh part, b is the right option. Now moving towards the next part. Next part a a. It says that the focal length of a lens of power minus four d is. We know that focal length is inversely proportional to power. So f it is if we are going to find the value of f. The value of power is given minus four diopter. So we write here, and in this way we get that is twenty five centimeters. Negative sign is there, so minus twenty five centimeter will be the right answer. It is C. So C is the right option for eighth part of question number one. Now moving towards the next question, that is question number ninth. Which phenomena illustrate nature of light waves? Interference, diffraction, polarization, none of the above. Uh, this question, I think, it's not okay. If something is missing in this question, because if we discuss about uh, nature of light waves, if uh, we discuss about the electromagnetic wave nature, particle nature, or what type of nature it is asking from us, I don't know. So this question is not okay because uh, interference, diffraction, polarization, every option gives somewhat uh, answer for this. So this is not exact. I think board should give one grace mark for this. So one grace mark is expected for this. So this is not okay. So moving towards the next question, that is question number ten, part ten of question number first. It says that the height of a TV tower is hundred meter. If radius of earth Is 6400 kilometer. Then what is the maximum distance of transmission from it? We know that transmission distance, that is dt. The formula for transmission distance is 2 h r under root, where h is the height of the tower and r is the radius of the earth. So writing here, height is 100 meter and writing the radius. One should clear in mind here it is given in kilometer. We must write in meters. So multiplying by 10 raised to the power 3 under the root. Now solving this 2 and uh, uh, I take one zero here so that uh, we can solve it easily. 64 and uh, that is 2 on 6 is there. So on solving this we get. Uh, 8, 10 raised to the power 3 under root of 20 meters, and converting it to the kilometers, we get 8 under root of 20 kilometers. So let us see. It is yes, it is here. So D is the right option for this. So D is the right option for this question. Now moving towards the next part, that is question number 11. It says that. De Broglie wavelength associated with an electron accelerated through a potential difference of 121 volt is. We know that the formula for De Broglie wavelength lambda that is equal to 1.227 divided by under root v, where v is the accelerating potential. Here it is given that 1.227 and uh, accelerating potential it is given 121 volt. So I am writing here 121. Under the root, and uh, on solving this, we get a uh, 1.227 divided by 11. And when you solve this, we get uh, one that is 0.1, and uh, again one, and uh, 20 that is two nanometer. So let us see here. It is yes, it is C. So C is the right answer for 11th part of question number one. So C is the right option for this. Now moving towards the next part, that is twelfth. It says that which spectral series does not lie in spectrum of hydrogen atom? Lyman series is there. 
Pastel series is there, Mama series is there. So the only option left is special series. So there is no slash special series in case of hydrogen atom. So A is the right option there. So in this way, we can solve one marks question of set A. For set B, there is another video. You can check that video from the links given into the descriptions. For C and D, also links are given there. there. 2 mass question, 5 mark question, 3 mass question, all questions are sold in parts for all sets. The links are given into the descriptions from where you can check that. Also, you can subscribe the channel so that as soon as the video will be uploaded, you may get notifications for that and you can watch it easily. Thank you very much.